What's going on YouTube, Geosan right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a program called PassFab iPhone Unlock in order to basically reset the forgotten iOS passcode on your device. So basically, if you have an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch and it looks like this when you try to use it because you have a passcode but you forgot it and you don't know the passcode for your device, then you'll be able to reset that passcode and that device so that you can use it again. The program is available here on PassFab.com, it's called PassFab iPhone Unlock and it does support the latest iOS 16 devices and of course there's a free trial available compatible with both Windows and Mac OS. You can definitely check the program out in the link below, it supports iPhone is disabled, it supports screen time passcode and stuff like that. So you can easily use it if you forgot your passcode. Please don't use this program for any nefarious reasons, only use this on your own device for your own device for which you forgot your passcode. So how do you use this? Well, you connect your device to your computer and and you press start unlock iOS screen over here. You press start and then it will detect automatically your device. In my case, iPod Touch 7 generation, which is the latest iPod Touch. There are important notes in here. For example, this one, removing the screen lock will erase all the data on the device. After the removal is successful, you can use the backup to restore the device. Your iOS version will be updated to the latest one available and please ensure that your device has enough power. So yes, everything will be removed, including the passcode. That's unfortunately the price you have to pay. So I'm gonna press next in here and you you're being asked to put the device in recovery mode or of course the FU mode and you have to follow the instructions for your device. Alright, so as you can see it detected my device in recovery mode or the FU mode and as you can see we have iPod Touch 7 generation and we can download the matching firmware for it. So I'm gonna press download in here and the program will start downloading the proper firmware for my device. It ensures that it gets the proper one so you don't have to mess around with IPSW.me or the iPhone wiki or whatever to get the proper firmware. It gets everything right here inside the program with just a couple of Clicks. So I'm gonna be right back once it completes. So once the firmware has downloaded successfully, you just have to press start remove. And at this point, your device will begin reinstalling the iOS version. This will remove everything, including the forgotten passcode. So just wait for it patiently. It will start verifying the firmware to ensure everything is fine during the download. And then it will unpack it and install it to your device. Don't touch your device, leave it connected and wait for the program to complete. Your device may reboot a couple of times during this procedure. All right, so at this point it says screen lock removed successfully and that's about it you can see the device has started in here and we are now on the setup screen and if you press in here you can select your language and your country and stuff like that we press done in here and that's it you can now close the program all right so you can see the device activating now if you have an apple id associated with your device you will be asked to introduce that password and that apple id in my case i didn't we continue over here and now as you can see we can create a brand new passcode or we can even choose to go without a passcode altogether so as you can see the old one was indeed removed. I'm not going to transfer anything, set up later in settings in here. I'm going to skip through the setup fast so that you can see the device is indeed working. Siri, screen time and get started and that's it. You can see the device is now fully usable. You can open applications and stuff like that. Everything seems to be working fine. So yes, now if you have a backup you can restore it to the device and you will be able to go ahead and just get your data back. But if you don't have a backup everything will be removed so do keep that in mind. It's an important thing. So yep, that's how you use PassFab iPhone Unlock. If you want it, you can definitely check it out in the link below. There is a free trial available and it does support the latest devices and iOS 16. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Peace out.